Okay, we have a 99 Honda Accord, and the customer called me and said that his engine won't start. And then I noticed this weird thing going on over here with this timing belt cover. It's cracked. So what I'm going to do is remove the upper cover first and see what's going on behind the cover. When I get the cover off, I'm going to take the crankshaft and move the crankshaft to top dead center, and then see if that lines up with the camshaft being on top dead center. I just put a block in here to just keep this cover elevated. I'll remove the side motor mount. I have to get a socket long enough where it's clear. It won't connect to the bottom nut down here. I'm going to have to attach the power steering pump and move it off to the side. Take the belt off, just move it off to the side here like this. To take this cover off, I have to remove this uh, oil dipstick tube, and there's a 10 millimeter bolt right down here. Okay, now I can remove the dipstick tube. And that doesn't look good. You see all that belt slack? So I gotta take the lower cover off, but something definitely got messed up here with the timing belt. So we won't know until I remove the lower timing belt cover. Okay, so I loosened up the pivot bolt, and now I have to loosen the alternator adjustment locking bolt. Now the alternator will pivot. I can take this belt off. Now I'm going to move the engine to top dead center. Okay, this is a special 19 millimeter high mass impact socket. So with this extra mass used in conjunction with a powered impact driver, the crankshaft pulley bolt will spin off with no problem. There you go. Well, for instructional purposes, I'll take the pulley off and put a paint mark on so you can see it. And see, if you look over here, it says timing belt up. That should be up here. So we got belt slippage. We have a, a jump timing belt. So now I'm going to remove the lower timing belt cover. Oh, wow. Look at that. That doesn't look happy. And we got ourselves a big mess. So the uh, balance shaft belt broke. So the crankshaft position sensor is broken. It should go like that. This is all harnessed. I'll just replace this whole thing. See this harness connects up 
top side here, I'm going to have to pinch that and then pull to, to, to release the tension. Okay, so I'm going to remove the uh, crankshaft position sensors. All right, so I went to the salvage yard and got a replacement crankshaft position sensor. And this lower timing belt cover, and this upper timing belt cover. So at this point, we could take the belt off and reposition the camshaft. So to relieve the tension on the belt, we remove this bolt over here that secures the pulleys. Okay, it's loose. The top bearing is for the harmonic balancer belt, so we have to remove this 10 millimeter bolt. See, this belt's damaged. All right, we have to take this cover off to get to this back seal. See, this mounts on the shaft of the crankshaft so that the uh, pulley won't move. Alright, so I'm just going to put a little groove in the seal. Now get this edge of the paint lid, lid remover inside the groove that I just made. Now I'll attempt to pull it out. There we go. Okay, this is the new crankshaft seal. We'll, put, we'll coat it with some dielectric grease. You just press it in with your fingertips. Okay, that's in. Okay, and this is the camshaft sprocket seal. No, I could push this one on my finger too.
So this slides on like this. And here's a new gasket. You got these little dimples here to uh, hold the gasket in place. I'm using a quarter inch socket to torque down the water pump bolts because I don't want to run the risk of shearing the bolt heads off with too much torque. So the arrow mark is, should be centered against this alignment mark over here. It coincides with the up. I put in a washer with JB Weld on the other side to reinforce the connection between the ear and the body of the sensor and I put in RTV at the bottom portion of the sensor where it mounts up against the engine block. So this is the tensioner pulley for the timing belt and this is the tensioner pulley for the balance shaft belt. There's a little mounting hole right there. Okay, so that tells you the belt direction. We'll mount it from the crankshaft first. Now I'll relieve the slack on the belt on the right side by pushing up on this lever over here. This spring is supposed to apply the right amount of tension to remove slack on the right side of the timing belt and I found this doesn't really work too well. That uh, I've opened up Hondas where there have been previous timing belt jobs and there was just too much slack on the belt. Now over here on this side, this has to be right there. See that's perpendicular to the ground. And if you go to the top side, now I have to move this. We're in alignment over here, we're in alignment over here, and now I'll just put on the pulley. Now this adjustment bracket goes over here. Then we put on this spring over here. Now we'll just put the center locking nut. Okay, I'm applying thumb pressure on the lever here to get a feel for the amount of tension I should put on the belt. All right, now I'm locking up the nut. You don't want to make it too tight, just a tiny bit of slack. And that's it. Whoever worked on this before, they didn't replace a gasket, but they just coated it with RTV. And it doesn't work. So i got to clean all that up.
We finished cleaning up the matting surfaces on the cylinder head for the valve cover gaskets. It was a real mess. Now we're going to replace the spark plug tube seals on the valve cover. I put silicone grease inside here. We're going to replace these rubber bushings that's part of the valve cover bolts. So these rubber pieces over time get hard and get squished down. So the valve cover gasket kit came with new bushings. To remove it, you just make a razor cut and it just comes off like that. I'm using this long 17 millimeter impact socket to hold the new bushing. I place the bolt on top, give it a few wax, and there. Now we can remove that 10 millimeter bolt that holds the tensioner pulley. Okay, so we're putting back on the side motor mount. So I'm going to lift the engine up, get that accessory belt on, and then I can put the side motor mine on. Belt shouldn't turn more than 45 degrees. Okay, I'm going to have to move the engine up a little bit.